I wanted to just ask you about Hardy and, and Josh Green. Those are kind of the the two young pieces that still have some growth ahead of them that showed flashes and in, in spurts during this past season. What are expectations for those two as far as like being rotation players and then like what is like their ceiling thought of as? Yeah, Josh Green is kind of like a smaller Andre Iguodala. Um, Mm -hmm. I think at his, you know, that's his, that's his ceiling. That's, that's what you want him to turn into. Um, really good passer, but doesn't always get in the situations to use those passing skills, did a better job of it last season. Um, got more consistent actually being able to get to the rim, um, which is a big part of being able to using your passing skills. You know, you can be the best passer in the world, but if you can't beat your man, you know, there's never going to be openings to make passes from, um, is a developing jump shooter, uh, you know, shot really well percentage wise, but, you know, still doesn't take a high volume of shots. Uh, he was a rotation player last year, and I think the expectation is for him to very possibly be a starter next year. Um, that's the hope, at least. And, you know, he's 22, maybe maybe it's turned 23 since the, the season in, but he's he's young and, mm-hmm. you know, he's he's well liked in Dallas. And I think for, you know, if, if it came to it, you know, he is someone they could trade, but they're not trying to trade him you know it's it's just if that's what it comes to if, if the rebuilding calls for it you know he is you know just one of the few players that they have that actually has value and same goes for Jaden Hardy um you know was not a every game rotation player last year didn't play the first half of the season but you know he's a second round rookie that wasn't expected it wasn't expected him for him to break into the rotation the second half of the year either yeah. and uh he did and he was really impressive what really stood out to me uh, wasn't just that he's, you know, one of these go get a bucket scoring guards, which he is, but he shot really well behind the arc and on a lot of different type of attempts, uh, you know, hit like 45% just on spot up shots, which is, you know, we see all these quick combo guards and there's jump shot questions, you know, it feels like, right. you know, how many of these players have we seen? And a lot of them succeed anyway, you know, Tyrese Maxey, Emmanuel quickly, this is very possibly, you know, a three-point shooter who also has all those traits and you know if he can join the rotation if uh if tim hardaway jr is traded um you know there's clearly minutes for a volume three-point shooter on this team next season and tim hardaway jr you know wasn't very important to the team last season for those reasons uh so i think that's the hope for him is that uh you know he can be some sort of off the bench six man seventh man you know scoring punch but but really somebody who takes a lot of threes and uh you know which are always going to be available because i think luca is pretty much the best three-point shot creator in the league 